All right, what's going on? It's almost 2021, and I'm going to show you how to set up audiences and conversions on LinkedIn so that you can actually uh, run some good ads with LinkedIn for your website. Again, remember that LinkedIn is good, but what's really good is to be able to use it for your business. So we're going to jump right in here, and I'll just show you what's going on. So first off, remember there's two sides to LinkedIn. You're going to have like create the page. So under me, I've got a company page that I've set up here for my new client, and then what you're going to want to look at is advertise. So you have the page. You can come over to admin tools and you could go to manage admins and you can add people into the administrator. So make sure that your client is added, you're added, anybody else that's going to be working on it. And then from there, what we're going to do is go to advertise. Now under advertise, just like Facebook, you have the page and then you have the advertising account. Okay. Um, now what you would do is hit create. You name it, right? So pro build, pro build WA, you'd say where it's at. And then what you're going to do here is you're actually going to put the LinkedIn page. So you can be looking at the page, say view it as a member, grab this URL, slap it in there, and it'll find it. So once you do that, hit save. I've already done this. We're going to come down to pro build. First thing we're going to do is we are going to set up the assets so under account assets what you'll see is we have the insight tag now the way i'm going to do this insight tag is through google tag manager and i like that you're going to see why so i'm going to grab the insight tag manager and what we're going to do is we're going to go install my insight tag i will install install i'm going to do this myself right um and i'm going to use tag manager so Google tag manager right here. Ah, took me off. <laughs> Here's my ID. So I want this partner ID. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and I'm going to say tags. So I'm in Google tag manager. Watch my other videos. If you want to learn about Google tag manager, I'm going to do a new tag. So hit new and I'm going to call this LinkedIn, LinkedIn, uh, insight tag. And the triggering for this is going to be on all pages and I'm going to do LinkedIn. If you come in here and search, it's actually in here. There's a lot of tags that are not already in Google tag manager, but LinkedIn is one of them. Now, again, I'm going to come over and I'm going to grab this ID number, your partner ID. So once you grab your partner ID, come in, slap it in there, hit save. So now on all pages, it's going to have that insight tag going. Now, the first thing we'll do is hit submit. Um, I'll name it LinkedIn tag done, but I haven't done any conversions yet. So that's the first thing. And by hitting submit, that's actually going to save the Google tag manager. The other thing you could have done, guys, is if you had the tag manager, you could have done it yourself and say, I will install the tag myself. And you would copy this script and the script can be put in the header of a Let's just say in a uh, WordPress website, right? WordPress has a, a whole bunch of, in your themes, there's usually a place for custom code. The idea is that that JavaScript would sit on your custom code. But we've got this installed through the tag manager, so I say, I'm done. Now, what I've found is that it usually doesn't say that it's here. You're going to have to wait a while. Now, what I want to do is I want to say conversions, okay? So we're going to create a conversion. And the main conversion that I want is going to be a form submission, Okay, a form submission. So what I'm going to do is first off, um, we're going to act like I haven't done this already. <laughs> and uh, we're going to come in and remember when you have Google Tag Manager, there's two systems. You have a trigger and then you have a tag. And the trigger is going to use a variable. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to say when you fill out, now I've built this and we've built this so that when you hit request a quote, boom, this form is what's going to happen. Or you would actually click this phone number. And if I look into this, if I right click into the phone number, and say copy link address, you'll see that I'm doing a link to TEL colon plus one and the phone number. And that's how you're actually calling me. And I do that because mobile phones are supposed to just call you when you hit it, but it doesn't always work. That's how I do it. So what I've done here is I've gone into variables and I want to turn on and hit configure to turn on the ability to use a form. 
And what I like to do is you come down to form and I do form IDs. I tend to have the best luck with this. So you click form ID and now you'd be able to use form ID in a trigger. And again, to recap, we're going to use the trigger, which is when this thing happens, then we can take that trigger and use it in a tag. So we're going to say, when you fill out a form, a specific form ID form, it's going to be a trigger. So we're going to hit new. We're going to say form filled. Um, and what I know I'm going to do, this is how I usually do it, man. My beard has got me all, all itchy. So I'm going to say request an estimate. So this is the pop-up. And if you mouse over your, your first part of your form and hit your right button and go to inspect, what you'll see is there's like a cascading thing here. And all we're going to do is move up until we see form ID. There's the form ID equals. And inside of these parentheses, it's email dash form. That, my friends, is my form ID. So I'm going to come over to Google Tag Manager and I'm going to say, I actually put that up here, form filled, and then I put that so I kind of know what's going on. And then I hit trigger. And I'm going to say, when a form gets filled out, form submission. And now remember, there's two options. You can either do all forms when all forms are filled out. That tends to not work. Don't do that. It does not work. So I'm going to go to some forms. And so I'm going to say a distinct form. And then you're going to use all of this crap here. I'm going to say, which form is it? Is it a form from text or an element? Or no, I'm going to use a form ID. And when my form ID equals... Then I'm going to paste in here without the parentheses. Just I want to put what was in between the parentheses in there. Email dash form. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit save. Doop. I've already done this. But once you hit save, you'd be good. Again, we're creating the triggers. The next one I'm going to do is, and as a best practice, I already mentioned it once, but I think the best practice is to create buttons or links. And your link, in order to actually call should be this link right here. I'm on a Windows machine. Usually I'd zoom in, but it's T-E-L colon plus and then the number. Now, I am always super consistent in how I do this. I do this on every site. I never push put dashes in there. I always do the number with a one. And this is how I do phone numbers. It's much more consistent this way. I like it. I know. I know what to expect. So, if you had a phone number on a website, I would suggest that that's how you do that rather than just put the phone number. Um, that way, no matter what, you could you could copy and paste this. That's easy. But I'm going to hit that button. So let's make that a trigger. Let's go over here. I, I sound like Bob Ross from Minnesota, though. <laughs> All right. So let's come in and we're going to say let's create the trigger for that. So when you click that link, let's say I'm going to name this like click to call phone trigger configuration, and let's go to just links. Okay, we're going to deal in links. Grab the link, and I'm going to, not all links, that would be dumb. I'm going to say some links. And what I'd like to do here is the click URL equals TEL colon plus plus. Maybe you can see how I do this now. TEL colon plus one and phone number. I do no dashes, and I do that the same everywhere. Because, quick note, I'm saying that when you click this exact specific URL, it is going to trigger. If I didn't have consistency here, it would not trigger unless it's that exact URL. So you, you got to be careful there, right? You, you have to have consistency. Otherwise, I would have to mess around a little bit more. I think this is the cleanest way. So I'll hit save. Now, I've already done this. So I'm going to discard my saves. So I'm going to hit submit. And all you're doing, every time you hit submit, you're saving this. So save it all up. I've already done this, so I'm not going to do it again. Now I've got two triggers. A click to call trigger. And I've got a form email trigger. Now real quick, let's go over here and let's preview this. Something about the preview in Google Tag Manager is that it's different now. And it's kind of a pain in the butt. It used to be really simple. And now it's different and it makes people confused. I have a couple other videos that walk people through this, but whenever you do something in Tag Manager, let's go ahead and let's just double check and make sure it's working, okay? So the debugger is connected. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit whoop. 
and then I'm going to say um, Rob nine five two 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 backwrench.com trial and I'm going to hit submit boom it happened so now you notice there's stuff happening up here let's come in and let's see what happened so what, what do we see here analytics tag was fired that's good I have that in there audience tag form conversion this is nice so over here what you can see is I submitted a form the tag fired was the form conversion ads in the form analytic ad which I'll show you that um so this is cool. We have a conversion that occurred. This worked. Over here on the click, tag's not fired. Uh-oh. There's something not. Link click. So the tag fired. Call click events for analytics and for Google Ads. So I can see that it worked. Okay? <laughs> it's a good thing. All right. <clears throat> so we're going to stop debugging real quick. So now that you've got that, um, let's head back. And let's take a look at things. So now what we're going to do is we're going to create some tags around those triggers for LinkedIn. Okay. So, uh, all right, let's say create a conversion. And what we're going to do is we're going to say, um, name your conversion form build on pro build. Choose a type that best describes. I'm going to do a lead Estimate, I don't like using on these types of things. I don't use a dollar amount. All right, so clicks, 30 days. We'll just leave that. Views, seven days. That's fine for me. Last touch, that's fine. Select campaigns to track conversions. I'm not doing that yet. Um, use my site-wide insight tag or use an event-specific pixel to track when there's no unique URL. All right, so here's where things get a little bit different. So it gets a little goofy. We're going to do this conversion, and what happens is I'm going to use an event-specific pixel to track when there's no unique URL because I don't want to use this site-wide tag. I don't want to use a thank you page. I don't like the way that works. So I'm going to copy this right here, and I'm going to go over, and I am going to put this into a notepad and paste it right here, okay? And this embed code, it's kind of weird, um, inside of this embed code, is a source of an image and it starts with HTTPS and it ends with GIF. It's a GIF, a GIF, however you want to say that. Now here's what's kind of goofy. I'm going to grab and I'm going to copy this, just the URL and without the, without the uh, quotation marks. Okay. And here's what we're going to do. We're going to come over to tag manager and I'm going to hit new. I'm going to name it LinkedIn join family form. That's not the form I want. Um, that's the other person's. <laughs> All right, let's jump out of that one. We're going to go into the correct one, okay? And what we're going to do is we're going to do a new tag, and we are going to say um, form for LinkedIn. And for the tag, you're going to use what's called a custom image. So let's search for image, custom image right here, and we are going to do, boom, we're going to paste that right there. And once you paste that in there, again, take off these. Oops, I almost did this wrong. We need only this part, only the URL. So we're going to copy this. And we're going to come in and we are going to say when that little image gets, we're going to tell that image to get fired inside of there. Now, I keep enable cache busting on. And the triggering that we're going to do is when that form gets filled out. So boom, film. Form. I'm going to hit save. Now that's the first one we're going to do. I'm going to say create. And then the second one we're going to do, create a conversion. And we're going to call this phone call clicked. And enter your settings. Zero. Seven days. Track conversions. No campaigns yet. And I'm going to say the specific one again. Um, boom. Please select a conversion type. I forgot we got to do the type. And we're going to say, let's do lead again. And down here, we're going to use event specific. Copy this again. Let's open up what we got going here. 
Come on. Come on. Family just got home. You might hear some people while I'm doing this. Paste it. Let's grab our little uh, our little GIF image again. Copy that. And it disappeared somehow. It's not here. New program. New LinkedIn. Call LinkedIn conversion. So again, custom image. I'm going to say boom. I'm going to do this when the click to call is done. So now we're going to hit save. And we're going to submit. We're going to publish all that. LinkedIn conversions. Boom, we got that done. So let's hit create. Now let's go test it. Um, it says that there's no campaigns, no signals yet. We'll give this a second. We'll let it let it load so the new thing is loaded. And again, we could preview this. Hit start. And we can come through and just double check. You know, what happens when we click? What happens when we test? All right, and boom. Test. Skadoosh. Kaboom. All right, let's see what happened there. Boom. So the tags that we've got going, so when we submitted the form, we got Google Ads, which I have on there. The LinkedIn form fired. Now what we'd want to do is come over and see. Now, I, I see that it doesn't always show any activity right away. It might take a while actually load up in there so don't don't feel bad if you don't see any signals when you first do that i've seen that it takes a while so the main thing is you've got that in there now what we'll do is let's create some audiences because audiences are super important when it comes to this so now what we want to do is come to website demographics and hit click or create an audience right and what the first thing i'll do is i'm just going to do a 30 day website traffic. So the idea on audiences is that when people come to your website or go to a specific page on your website, you want to create an audience out of them so that you can serve up ads to them. And all I'm going to do here is I'm going to put in our URL. Ooh wee. Um, so requested, uh, we'll put in that if it starts with my website, it'll work. Now I could say equals or contains. So if it contains that, I want it to work. That's probably the best way to do it right now. And what we'll do is hit, oh, where's the days? They changed this here. Yep, we'll get rid of that. Usually I like to make a number of days that that works. But bottom line is we've got the audience set up there and that's how you do it. So now we've got LinkedIn insight tag installed we created some conversions and now you could get in and if you want to start making some campaigns you can hit create campaign and get it going so good luck god bless hope that helps